Do you know how to make me the host, Jeremy? I am working on that. Give me just one moment. Okay, no worries. No worries at all. Looks like we got some chats coming in here. Good morning, Lily. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Tyler. Welcome, everybody. No worries, Jessica. Everybody spells my name, even my iPhone. <laughs> All right. How are we coming on that? Go ahead and try and do that again, Dane. I, uh, I, All right. I quit sharing my screen. Maybe that'll enable you to do yours. Okay, let's give it a try. Looks like I have a hand raised as well. And host disabled. Oh, it's not liking me. Host disabled attendee screen sharing. So if if, uh, if you go up to participants and just or participants and just click on my name, okay, you should you should be able to say like make me host or I can't remember the exact terminology. Okay, well give me one second. Thank you for your patience. No worries. Yes, Ali, I'll hit record. Thanks for thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I see a I see someone looking for Dane. All right. While he's doing that, I'll watch for that. But uh, I, I, the reason I wanted to share this today is because I was at the, I was doing the follow up just the other day, and uh, we were going through, had a great meeting, got some participation, everybody's having fun. And then at the very end, I closed the whole room and said, and said, guys, if this makes sense to you, guys, if this, if you like this idea of, of doing real estate, linking arms with us here in the Renatus family, then your next steps are going to be create your account and, and create the order. And then from there, we're going to go and find some, we're going to go find the funding and we'll unlock the education for you once we've got that funding in place. And Okay, cool. Looks like we are we are live. Let me share screen. And bam. Cool. We are good to go. Thanks, Jeremy. Appreciate you. My pleasure. Thank you. And cool. Let me start a brand new one. Okay, so I was about to follow up, but close the whole room. Everybody's everybody's like, yeah, and I said, I said, put put your order in. Create your account right now. If this makes sense to you guys, your next steps are gonna be this, this, and this. Yeah, and I had so many people walk up to me afterwards and say, Dane, how do you, how do you create an account? And I was, I amazed. I mean, I mean, lots of people. And I was like, Oh my gosh, do we not know how to create accounts here? So I want to just do a whole training on just how, when I'm, when I'm ready and I, and I ask somebody, Hey, does this make sense to you? Do you like the idea? And, and they say, yeah, I say, cool. Your next steps are going to be create your account. And I actually love to write this out for people. And so and I'll, I'll do it just like this and say, all right, step one is we're going to create your account. This takes like five minutes. So, so we can just do this right now. Okay. And then step two is we're going to go find the money. So we just gave you a whole bunch of ideas. If you need ideas, then, then we'll give you some more ideas on how to go find that money. And while you're doing that, we've got a ton more value that you can come back to. And I, and I like to say, I like to book them to the next meeting right here and say, come back on, you know, Thursday, you know, a Thursday event, come back on a Saturday event or a Wednesday or, or a Tuesday house tour, you know, whatever it is, just, I, I start saying, all right, while we're doing that, I want you to keep on coming back because there's a, so much free stuff to help you just get started and, and learn. And then after, after we've got this in place, then step three, we're going to unlock your education. Okay. And I make a big deal and I get very excited about unlocking and I say, and then, and this is when it all starts. Unlocking your education is when the, the light turns green and, and we're ready to go. Okay. So when I do that, here's, I want to show you the back end of how, of how I've got it set up for myself. Yeah. So, 
I actually have, if you'll notice up here in the top left corner, this is my quick draw. I, I click this button where it says enter, or sorry, education order entry. I click that link right there and voila, my order link that, has, that is customized to my name is right here. And I wanna show you how, because uh, I, I, I use this a little bit differently to make it very quick, okay? But first, I wanna show everybody how I did that. If you don't already know how to bookmark, so when you, whenever you have somebody that says, yeah, yeah, let's create my account, or they're okay with it, um, and usually I say it just like that, I don't ask them, are you okay if we create your account? I say, I say just like this, all right, if, if this makes sense to you and you like the idea, the next steps are gonna be create the account, we can do this today, it takes five minutes. Then we're gonna go find some, some money and, and come back to the next meeting and we'll unlock your education. All right, let's go ahead and create your account. And then if they don't stop me with some kind of objection, then we create their account. And so this is how I've got tons of orders in the system. So let me go ahead and log in and I'll show you how I, how I got this link to just show up where I can click it, I've got it on my phone, I've got it on my iPad, I've got it on my computer, it doesn't matter what device I have in front of me, I could put somebody's order in the system. And so even if I even show you just uh, some pending orders here that I have right now. So for Extreme Plus combos right now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, that's $50,000 in my pipeline of just orders in the system. And if I come over here to UGA orders, I've got uh, a few more. I've got one, two, three, or I just, technically that's two because sometimes it shows up the same one twice. So I've got two UGA orders in the system as well. And uh, so let's go, without further ado, let me show you how I get that link. So what you're gonna do is in your login, you'll go to my account, and then down here at the very bottom, it says account info. And then on this screen, you've got all these little boxes here and you're gonna scroll down to the very bottom on the right hand side, it says personalized order forms. What I'm gonna do is highlight this and the, the, the bummer is that it's not actually like a link. So you do have to highlight it the manual way just like this. Copy that and then open a new tab, paste and go. And there's my link, yeah? So now what I'm gonna do is, and if you're an Android user, and maybe you're using like Chrome, or if you're on Apple, it's gonna be very similar, but it's going to look something like this, where you come in and you say, add to favorites, or you can even do this. And this works on an Android or an iPhone, doesn't matter, iPad, um, uh, whatever Android tablets are out there, or Microsoft tablets, you can even say, add to home screen. Yeah. And if you're, if you're on Chrome, then instead of this little uh, whatever box that has the arrow going out up here on the very top right, um, if you're on Chrome, it's just like a dot, dot, dot. There's three dots. You click that and then find add to home screen or just favorite, either one. I'm gonna show you how to add this to my home screen. And you can see right there, it's already created the name, education order entry and then it has the link. And so I'm gonna add that, and there it is. So you can see it right here at the very, at the, not at the bottom, but right there in the middle of the screen. And if I click that, it automatically just takes me to this page. So that way, when, when I say, all right, if makes, this makes sense to you, we'll create the order, we're gonna find the funding, we're gonna unlock, and I say, all right, let's go ahead and create the, the account. And I, I whip out any of my devices, click that button, takes me right to this page, and I start filling stuff out. And I'm actually gonna fill out my order because I wanna show you how I do this very, very quickly. Okay, because in that moment, you don't wanna sit there and beat around the bush. You wanna go, you wanna, you wanna get this done quickly, okay? Like they, they're, in a, they're in a mode where they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, let's, let's do this, let's do this, okay? So, and there's a couple of things as, as well that I like to do. So if I, if you can see uh, right above my keyboard, I, I don't know if Android do this or not, but if you have a an Apple device, I'm I'm sure Androids do this, but but you know, bear with me if it doesn't. Notice right above my keyboard it says autofill 
contact. And then if I say other contact, I could put in any anybody's name, number, order, whatever it is. So let's say I just uh, go to Michael Huggins because I'm gonna I'm gonna sell Michael a combo today. So I say Michael Huggins, and I there and you'll notice there I've got his name, I've got his his email, I've got the address, autofill, and it just bam right there. And I do this right in front of my my prospect because I have them saved in my phone as as a contact, and I save their you know most often I do not have the address, but uh, but when I do, it just auto fills. And so if I don't, I just say, cool, what's your address? And I, I typically type this in myself. I don't hand this to them and say, fill this out. I, I don't do that. I say, what's your address? And I type this in myself because, I mean, that's, that's what a professional is going to do, right? So I'm going to hit next. I usually don't even touch this screen. I just I leave it as is unless I already know which product they're going to be buying, then I will. But if we don't know yet, that's okay. You can always go in and change this or, or enter a new order or whatever, and that's totally fine. And so I'm gonna hit next. And then you get to this screen. So this is where things are gonna start changing depending on, again, if you know what they're buying and how they're financing, if they are gonna use UGA, I'm gonna click the finance button. And I actually have a very specific way that I will do the financing and so I'll, I'll maybe make a training on another day for that but for now I'm just going to show you the quick way that it, I just default to if they're ready to put their order in I'll, I'm just I'll just put it in just like this okay and so I'm going to click this little drop down and I'm going to go down to the the category or whatever the the payment type of wire transfer and I actually and while I'm doing this I actually explain to them what I'm doing and I and I, I show them my screen and I say and because they want to see they want to see what you're doing so I show them my screen and I say cool so what I'm doing now is it's it it would ask for payment right now but I'm gonna we're gonna bypass that just so we can create that account for you so so that you know when we're ready later on or if we're ready later on then uh, we've already created this account and and so I'm just gonna go wire transfer I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna say pending and I just type in pending right there in front of them. They watch me and then I click this button and then I go through and I click these buttons and then I explain to them. I say, so because the wire transfer thing, it is going to create a receipt, but I'm just going to go back in and delete that as soon as we get into your account. And I'll, I'll do that right in front of you. And so I'll show you, I can, I'll show you guys that as well. So we get to this screen. And now it's saying, click here to proceed. If, if you go in the other way, then they're gonna get an email. You've gotta ask them to go into their email and find it and, and then try to log in. This allows them to log in just right here on my iPad. And so I say, click here to proceed. And then I, and then I hand them the iPad and I say, all right, make yourself a password and confirm it. The login is gonna be the email we just used. The password is going to be, um, uh, whatever you create. So go ahead and create that. And so I'm just going to make uh... Dane, I have a quick question. Go ahead. Um, what about what you just did makes it so that you have that link that they can click as opposed to an email? Was it the wire so transfer? Because, because we used that link that I just created or, okay. or because we because we created this uh, Home, you know, add to home screen link okay, got type it. of a thing. That's how you're able to do this right off the bat. All right, so I just I just made a dummy password for for Michael. And if you're on if you're on a device that might say, hey, do you want to update your password? Never. Don't do that because it's going to change your password and not in your Renatus account, but in your device's memory. Okay, then it pulls to this screen, and and I say, all right. So go ahead and, and we're going to click this green button and the first, the first document pops up. I say, okay, so let me, let me share this with you. I have read this several times and I'm going to get, I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I say it to the customer. Okay. All right. I've read this several times. You're welcome to read this if you'd like, um, or I can give you the highlights. And then I just start scrolling down and just say a bunch of these things up at the, up at the top are just kind of, you know, some glossary of terms. 
but let me share with you what that what this mostly is is saying okay and renatus essentially is an education company okay they will never get their fingers in our real estate deals they will never take any portion of our deals they'll never get paid anything other than the the tuition that they collect okay now because they will never take any money from our deals they will also never take responsibility for our deals okay and so you'll notice right here where it says the no guarantees and warranty no guarantees or warranties they will never take responsibility for our mistakes we get to learn and then go and do you know just like what any any degree that they're going to give you they're going to say hey learn the stuff and go do go do the things and and so same idea like you're going to learn a bunch of things and you're going to be able to go and start your own business okay the next thing that Renatus is not is a they're not a professional like they are not themselves a and I, I start highlighting this on my iPad I say they're not a, a legal counsel they're not an accountant they're not a tax professional a financial advisor investment investment advice okay they are not a licensed professional to to give that kind of advice they hire those kinds of people yes they hire attorneys and CPAs and and realtors and, and contractors and, and, and all the licensed type of people to come in and teach, but they themselves are just the education company, okay? And then just a bunch of other things, you know, about, you know, if, if people have beef. So, and then I scroll down to the bottom. I say, Renatus, Renatus doesn't want, if, you're, if your signature is not legible, then what Renatus actually wants is something that they can read. Because there's actually a live human that works down at the office, down at corporate, that reads signatures to make sure that they can read your name okay i don't i would not want that job myself but the lady that does it i mean bless her heart she works for us so so just like you can see the ceo's name is written out you can read that robert snyder they want your um they want your signature to be legible so go ahead and sign this and and if your if your signature isn't legible then we're going to practice third grade cursive again okay? and that's exactly what i say and i say all right so go ahead and so they they sign and so we're going to just say i i'm not very good at, at cursive but we're going to try this uh, i think i might have spelled his name right it's a e right a e l and then michael signs Huggins. all right okay and so I say, yep, that looks great. Yeah, you did great in third grade. You must have passed. And then you just hit the submit button. And sometimes it just, it sits there and thinks, and, I, and it doesn't it doesn't tell you that it's thinking. It doesn't have any like rolling. Uh, what do they call that? Spirals or whatever. And so sometimes you have to very very slow double tap that submit button. Not not quickly, but but very very slow. Okay. Now it's going to say signature accepted. You scroll all the way to the top. Hit the home button, and another window is going to pop up. We're going to do that several times. When we're done with stuff, we scroll to the top, hit the home button. Now it pops up and says sign for your order. So you click that button, and then I say, and then this is what I say. All right, so now it just generated. Here's the receipt for that pending wire transfer. You can see right here that that, that pending wire transfer that we just created. So it's still going to ask you to sign. But, uh, but we're gonna, you know, like I said, we're gonna go and, and delete this in just a minute. Um, it does say like, once we fund the education for you, you can cancel within seven days and, and you know, here's how to do it. You know, I've never, and I, I say this, I've never had anybody cancel before. If, if you think, if you would be thinking about canceling, then maybe we shouldn't be doing this. And I just move on. And then I say, I get them to laugh. And then a whole bunch of stuff in Spanish that I have no idea what this says. I would imagine that it's the same thing as this. But same thing here, they're gonna ask you to sign and make it legible again, so first grade cursive. And so we go, and, and so Mr. Michael comes in and he signs this uh, again, A-E-L, Michael Huggins. And I, and I sometimes I'll tell them if it's easier for you to make it legible, then do it on two lines like this. And so Huggins, okay, and hit submit. Sometimes it has to sit there and think for just a moment. And you might have to do a very slow double tap, but it looked like it took it. All right, then I say this and I start scrolling up from the bottom because it automatically takes you to the bottom. So I just start from the bottom. 
And so I talk about benefits and say, all right, Renatus is actually a nationwide company. They are in all 50 states and they have communities scattered all around, all around the, the United States. And so it's, it's going to be kind of like real estate church. You show up anywhere in the nation and you're going to be, you're going to meet people that are part of Renatus that run a very similar community to like ours. I mean, obviously, you know, there may be little differences and different people and things like that, but most people or, but most communities are, are going to be very, very similar. You walk in and you're going to be an instant friend anywhere you go in the nation. Okay. Renatus also runs a lot of, of webinars. <clears throat> One of, the, one of the ones they do every single week is on Tuesday, where they have a guy that, that's been doing real estate for decades come on and do a webinar where you can ask questions and you can interact with him and he'll, and he'll have a, a topic-driven kind of a study group that you can plug in every single week. I, I plugged in when I was new. I absolutely loved what, what this guy would teach. His name's Gavin. Okay. And then I say this and, this, and this is how I even make the distinguishment between I am not their coach but Renatus is going to provide a coach. And say, so, so I say, all right, also, Renatus is going to provide you a coach. Now, this is only included in the Extreme Plus Combo, where you get one-on-one -on -one time with a coach. But Gavin, let me tell you a little bit about Gavin and Caleb. He's been doing real estate for a very, very long time. He quit his jobs. He, I mean, he, he's been doing it full time. And he has, I mean, this guy's done it all, wholesaling, flips, rentals, apartment complexes, commercial, you name it. And, uh, and so you're going to spend some time. And, and I, I typically say, um, you're going to spend some time with him, but I recommend that you get through your classes first. And then you meet with Gavin, because if, if you don't, you don't want to just spend that one-on-one -on -one time with Gavin, just telling him, just telling you, oh, watch your classes. You want to spend that time actually getting in and analyzing deals. You know, when I used Gavin, it was when I was in my phase three, I had finished my education. I was, and I was going through and, uh, and ready to make offers. I had properties on the table that I was analyzing. And, and so he helped me just put it all together. Okay. Very, very valuable. And, and this is, and Renatus doesn't like to, like me to call myself a coach. I get to be more of like a guide for you to, to go through this process and just help you all, you know, my, my goal is to help you never wonder what to do next. Okay. And, and so that's where I'll come in. And, and then I start talking about uh, now, now they just start talking about the education. Essentially, they do not want you to sell their education. You do get an extra login where you can have another learning partner. Uh, they talk about how the course content, you know, they reserve the right to add, change, remove courses all the time. And if you ever want to come in and listen to them record classes live, you have the ability to come in and do that. And then um, let's see, possible exemption. This is this talks about the lifetime membership because of how credit card companies work. They don't like that. They don't like that you. Um, or sorry, they don't. Credit card companies don't like lifetime membership. So what Renatus does is they they say you have access for a year, and then complimentary lifetime access every year thereafter. So if I actually go into my education, it's going to say that mine was going to expire sometime in, in 2016, but I still have full access to it. Okay. And then just a, a bunch more things about the education itself. So that was the AIT, the build your wealth and the essentials, same idea. And then just a bunch of terms and definitions and things like that. Okay. And then I scroll back down. I say, all right, same thing here, same drill, legible, legible cursive, third grade, if you will. And so we're going to try this one more time. My gal, obviously I, I don't sign for them. They sign for themselves, but Michael's not here. So Michael Huggins. Oh, if I'm doing this remote, um, I will actually still use this screen. And then once they create that login and that password, I say, all right, go ahead and log in. And as, as we're going through this, I'm still sharing my screen but they are going through it. Okay. And I'm explaining it to them. And then the cool thing is, is as, as they are going through this, if I hit the home button, if, if they're on their end of the phone and I'm on my end of the phone, I just keep on hitting the home button myself. And my screen is going to pop up what they see as well. And then they just go through and sign. Okay. 
And so this might be one of those moments where I might have to slow double tap. Oh, just kidding, it took it. So, so like I said, it doesn't tell you it's thinking, it just sits there sometimes. All right, all the way to the top, hit the home button. And, and then one little thing that I like to do, you'll notice that it just like went to the top on an on a Apple device, I just clicked basically right above the website address bar, like very, very top. So so if I just, again, click very the top, it just takes you to the top. Instead of like scrolling, 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 like it just makes it look like this big long thing. I like to just bam, hit a button, goes all the way to the top. All right, and then I hit the home button. Um, oh, just kidding, Michael already has, technically has an account. So, it's uh, it's not gonna have more pop-ups. But there's gonna be two more pop-ups. The first pop-up is going to say, hey, confirm your phone number. And so you put the phone number in and, and save it one more time. And then again, hit the home button. And then after that, another pop-up is gonna come up where it says something about um, create your, oh, what do they call it? Create your account security password thingy. And so what I'll say is, all right, now they're going to ask you to create a security code uh, for your account. And then, you know, you can choose from a whole bunch of different things. Now they got everything. Like what's your favorite dog treat? And, and when was the last time you ate chicken or whatever? And so they create their own security phrase, passcode. And then once they're done, I say, all right, you're done. We're in. So what I'm going to do now is go in and show you how I delete that pending wire transfer. And so this is going to pop up and all right. So let's see, here's the one that we just created on 626. All right, is that, is that today's date? 626, holy cow. All right, so 626, I'm going to go up here and say payments. And you'll notice that it has that pending wire transfer thing. So I'm just going to remove that right now. Just like I, you know, just like I told them, I told them I was going to delete it afterwards. So this is me deleting it afterwards. And, and I say, all right, remove payment. So I just removed those wire transfer things. And now the account's created. And so basically, once we get this down to zero, that where it says left to pay, then your education will unlock. So from here, we're going to go and find the money. And then, and then I'll schedule this. And, and so I'll schedule the next meeting, the next one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Because I do want them to come to the next group event, but I also want to meet. I also want to meet with them in the next one-on-one. -on -one. And typically, I'll do this one week from today, ish. One week from today, okay? Because what happens is I want them to be coming to these things, but. I also want to make sure that I that they are feeling like they're spending that one on one time. But let's say let's say you're uh, let's say you're so new that that, you know, you don't feel comfortable doing your own one on one. I would just make sure that they are always making it to the next meeting. OK, if I was new, that's what I would do. And that's what I did when when I when I didn't have the you know, when I hadn't developed as much skill as I have now. It was just, okay, when are you coming to the next meeting? I'm going too, when are you coming with me? Okay. And I would just make sure that I didn't just send them. No, I would come with them. So we were sitting right next to each other at the very next meeting as we're going. And then just pump them up, you know, pump them up with positive energy, excitement, what you're learning, what you're doing. Like if you're not taking action during the week, they're gonna know. If you're not taking real estate action, I should say. In other words, if you're not watching your classes, they're going to know. They're going to know that all you're doing is just trying to sign people up. You're not working towards your first deal. So, so you get to start updating them every week on your progress. And where, whatever, whatever, whatever status you're in or whatever, uh, wherever you are in your progress, make it exciting. Like, oh, yeah, I'm in phase one. I got, I'm halfway through. Or, or oh, I, am, I, I literally just unlocked my education like, like two weeks ago. So I'm just getting started in phase one, or or maybe you've maybe you've been a part of of Renas for a little while. I say, yeah, I'm I'm actually in phase three. I just I made an offer today. I made an offer yesterday, and and you start sh and you show them the deal that you made an offer on. You show them the the property, or or maybe you are doing deals. Then you say, cool, here's a deal that I that I we just bought, or we just sold, or we just 
whatever. Okay. And so you just keep on pumping that progress, positive energy as we go through this process, because this is the one that takes the longest finding that money. I've, I've had people, I've had people take one day. I've had people take like 21 days just to get that funding. Okay. So I, I never, I never want it to be like, all right, we created the account, go find your money. Call me when you have it. No, 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 no. You just start scheduling out those meetings every single week, sometimes two in a week, maybe three in a week. You know, you send them videos, you send them stuff to make sure that they, they know that you exist every day if you can. Yeah. And so you keep them excited while they're in that phase until, until they're able to unlock. And that's when you pump them full of like the most excitement. Say, all right, now that we've unlocked your education, here's what I want you to do. And, and then I'll even, uh, I'll even log in. And uh, let's go to this, Dan Clark, Business Center. So I'll log in myself and be like, all right, here's what I want you to do. You'll notice that all of my essentials are watched and passed. And so I show them because I, I want them to do what I'm doing or what I have done. I've watched all my classes so that I could go and do real estate in an educated fashion. I said, all right, I want you to go. And this is the first class that I want you to watch, maybe tax and legal, maybe velocity banking. Okay. And I'll open up the class and then I'll go like this and, and send a link to them. So I'll, I'll pump this up and say, all right, I'm going to send you a link to this very first class that I want you to watch. So when you click this, it's literally going to take you right to the class. Now, obviously it's not unlocked yet. But, uh, but as soon as we get that account down to the zero, then you can watch this first class. Yeah. And that's, that's the goal is let's get this one done as quickly as possible. Yeah. And so I'm just, again, I'm thinking future pace, future pace, future pace. What's the next step? Always, always. Because once they unlock, then I already sent them the homework. I want you to watch the velocity banking class from, uh, from the essentials and start there. Okay. Once you're done with that, then, you know, I'll send you the next class, whatever. Because again, I'm your guide. So, all right. That's how I put in orders very, very quickly. And again, I think I mentioned this, but I, it, if I don't know what they're buying yet, I still just put it in like that, where I put in a cash extreme plus combo. I can, I, I can always change it um, later. And maybe next week I'll go over how I do a UGA because that, that, one's, that one's a little different animal. Okay. But for the last 15 minutes, do we have any questions? about this process that uh, we can go through. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let me go back through. Oh shoot, you know what? We forgot to hit the record button. Oh no, no, somebody did. Okay, good, we're recording. Um, when the user accepts the payment agreement, is that when the seven day starts or is it when they pay? Okay, Ashley, thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. So technically, it does start today, the day that they put that in. However, when they actually put their money in, it, it, even though like maybe like, for example, like some, I, I mentioned some people take them like 21 days. Uh, with those people, the, when they actually put their money in, it still gives them a few extra days. Uh, I think it's like one or two days or something like that where it kind of resets. And uh, but you also get paid a lot sooner as well. So they could still cancel in that process of, of while we're finding that money, you know, they, whatever. But, but by doing it this way, they, when they actually do unlock the education and put their cards in, it's like much less, much, much less. So it'll never be less than, it, it's usually like 10 days because Hawaii mail, you know, takes extra days, things like that. But that's a great question. So you'll actually get paid much sooner by doing it this way, by just creating that. What is the link to set up the coaching call? Oh, man, I think it's uh, renatuscoaching.com. Oh, man, let me remember. I think if somebody knows what it is, let me know. But I, I believe it's renatuscoaching.com. 
renatascoaching.com take you right here to Gavin McCaleb. You have to have your Extreme Plus combo to do that. Um, let's see. How do you send the link? I missed that. Um, I'm not sure if I understand. I'm not sure who you are. Six six seven eight three six two six six seven seven. Which link are you talking about? The education link that I sent the velocity banking class or the okay, so the yeah, so the educational link for the order or for that class? Let's see. Do you let them know the seven days pretty much starts now? No, I don't I don't say that. I basically tell them they have the, the seven days. Or when they send for the order, not when they put the funding in. So yeah, correct, Tyler. It's it the seven days technically starts the day they sign. Um, but because of the fund, there's no funding, then it does give them a few extra days, even after they put the money in. Um, all right, so whoever it is, the six eight seven three six two. So all I did was went to the class itself. And so if I actually just go hit the back button here. So here I am in the velocity banking class. Really all I did was send them this big long mumbo jumbo link um, that is that is this class. So the iPad just makes it easy for me if I just go in here and say I want to share this with a message. You can copy the link. I could I could email the link. So you can see there's that big long mumbo jumbo link that is basically just this up here at the top. So great question. Um, thanks, Zane. So Tyler, yes, you do need to, you do need to remove those payments because if, if they don't, then it won't let you put any new payments in. So you'll have to remove that. You can do it now, you could do it later, but that's, that's, just, that's just one thing I do to make it okay to be like, hey, we're putting your order in and, and I'm doing this wire transfer thing because they don't know what I'm doing. And so I just want to make sure that they feel comfortable with what I'm doing um, and signing and stuff like that. So, oh, you know what else I did want to say? Because sometimes people ask me, and, and this doesn't happen very often, especially if I do it this way, but every once in a while, I'll have somebody say, oh, am I like signing to, to uh, am I like signing my life away basically like right now? Like a, so some people get a little bit nervous and say, man, this is, I mean, it's getting real. Like this is, this is getting real. They're making a decision to move forward with their life. And so they're like, they're like, so if I sign this, are you going to like make me pay and, or, you know, whatever I say, no, 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 no. Here's how this works. This is no pushy car salesman, no nothing. Like if all this is, is creating an account so that if, and when we're ready to move forward and really start getting what you want, then the account was already created. If we never fund this account, or in other words, if we never unlock this account by putting cards in and, and getting that, that payment, those payments down to zero, Renatus is just gonna delete this account in like 30 days. So even if, you know, even if you haven't made a decision today, we can still create this account just so you have that login. And, and you know, you can poke around in there and there's little, you know, little snippets of training that you can, you know, and, and so it's just going to help you help you in your decision making process by just having this account will help you. OK. And there's like, oh, OK, cool. And so whenever I have people say like, oh, 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 I don't want to sign this. I just make that OK to be like, hey, if we never act on this in 30 days, we're not. This is just going to delete it. And I, I even have had some people say, well, well, what if it takes me longer to longer than 30 days? I was like, well, just we'll just make a new one. So. Cool. How do we add the secondary person? You have to call corporate, if I remember right. Um, there, I, I believe there might be a way to do add, add the learning partners, but usually I end up having to call corporate anyway. Um, so you just call corporate. It does have to be after the seven day right of rescission period. So in other words, after education is fully unlocked and, and seven days. Um, yeah, great question. Any other questions for you guys? that I can answer. You can add them in your business center. Yeah. Back office, add business partner. Ooh, it's not business partner. Oh yeah, dude, you're just kidding. You did add learning partner. Yeah, it, it's different from the business partner. Business partner is for an IMA, learning partner is for the education. So thanks, Corey. Um, cool. Any other questions for today?
and we'll call it we'll call it a day guys make it a wonderful wednesday love you all and we'll see you next week